space tears itself apart. Uh, and to interrupt which man, no man should know, a battleship starship forces itself back into real space. Strolling smoke, venting atmosphere, and a few seconds after transitioning itself, um, the bow of the ship gives in to stresses beyond it uh, and rips free. Cut to the bridge, and the command crew can see the bodies of uh, thousands of crew members falling into space. Uh, is that supposed to happen? It's fine. One of the British crew stands up, thought for confirmed, sir, setting in docking approach. The engines flare and begin to push the ship towards the station, uh, to the cluster of asteroids. Uh, chained together, a massive asteroid um, of the Emperor in the centre, a statue of the Emperor in the centre. Docking pattern set in, engines fine. A few seconds after that, the sound of tearing as the engines begin to shake themselves free. Uh, and they set off on their own voyage of discovery. Uh, engines not so fine, inertia perfect. <laughs> the remains of the ship begin to cross the distance. Yeah, more and more beginning to break off. Yeah, you're losing like engines here, like wings, you know, whole good battery. Are you really sure on. this is supposed to happen? Because I don't think it's this fine. is supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, luckily, uh, Thought 4 begins to get closer and closer. Um, you know, then at the back off, the ship drops off, and towards the end, it's pretty much just the bridge left, which coasts slower and slower, and somehow manages to line up perfectly with the docking clamps. They engage, the door opens halfway, and then the power fall, um ends. Not before having played the fanfare uh, and allowing one man to step through. He's, you know dressed in the garb of a rogue trader, and he's get, um, kind of greeted by a dockmaster. Uh, so, so, there's uh, a 10,000 throne docking fee for ships. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna guess that we all actually get off of the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. Yeah. off. Yeah. We're running okay. off the ship at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. <laughs> the rogue trader walks back towards the airlock, <laughs> waits for his command crew to get off, Shuts the door, disengages the clamp, and watches as the bridge just floats off into the asteroid field. I don't know what you're talking about. We haven't docked. Uh, <laughs> this is above this guy's pay grade. Uh, I still need to take your name for the docking uh, registrations. Ah, uh, well, you see, I am the rogue trader, Venteslaus Dubthak Evander Gulbrander Königsman. You and I'm here to steal time. that ship. He uh, points off to a massive cruiser <laughs> stationed off footfall. Do you have to tell people every time? Yes. Rogue trader, the dock master just looks around himself and just writes, Rogue trader business. And then just goes off. <laughs> Lars, names are important. So, we cut to a week later. Another tech well, priest is... Uh, another tech priest has begun to interview um, Remigus, or Remy. Um, it's a recorded interview, and you know, he sits down opposite the table. So, uh, <laughs> intros might be a good idea before the interview. Yeah. So, yeah, who the hell okay, is yeah. We'll go, we'll yeah. go for the yeah. introductions now. So, this is Rogue Trader. We decided we'd have a, a bit more of a, a stylized thing, but I stand on my way for it because I'm an idiot. Don't worry, we're all bad. Yeah, real yep. bad. I totally went off script, but whatever. Yeah, we actually had the script. Yeah, for wusses. We, we, this one place that close to professionality. We had a script. We had a plan. Yeah. <laughs> then we ruined it. I was scrambling to find where the script. I was scrambling to find where the script was. I'm like, oh god, where to go? Where to go? <laughs> I'm also thinking I might be recording black screen. Uh oh, um, that's well. excellent. Yeah. I'm still recording. It's perfect. As long as the audio is getting in. Yeah, the audio is yeah. getting in. One, one second while I just check this. Why is that recording flat screen? Oh, screw it. I'm just going to click monitor to capture. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, professionalism. Yay. <laughs> Whatever. Right, just introduce yourselves. You know the drill by now. Uh, yep. Left to right? Yeah, either way. Right to left, left to right. Right to left is more appropriate. Yeah, right yeah. to left this time. Yeah. Uh, I am Igmir, and I will be playing the part of 
our titular rogue trader, uh, Ventislaus Dubthak, Evander Gulvender, fucking ridiculously long name. You got it <clears> in <throat> the skit. Yes. <laughs> you just did it out. <laughs> That's because I was reading it while we were looking at it. You got you Evander now, Your name is now Wenny. You understand that? <laughs> uh, A rogue trader cannot remember his own name. This is now canon. <laughs> <laughs> I have Too a long name, name, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm a Hive World uh, rogue trader who is friends with Xenos. And oh, wow. yeah, and right now technically doesn't have a ship and is basically broke. Well, he Xenos had a ship. and heretics. Xenos and her well, actually, not even heretics. Xenos and non believers. Yeah. Whatever. And mutants. And mutants. Whatever. And mutants. Xenos and heretics and mutants, oh my. The ship works, Moving right along. so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, is Zygmunt done now? Yeah, I think I'm done now. I am ablative, and I am playing Mordecai Aurelius Piers Scivola Ferracci. Who navigator. missed his line during the skit. Because I yep. wasn't there, because I had to go do something. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have to do something. <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't even aware I had a line in the skit, so... <laughs> Anyway, oh. he's a nobleborn navigator of House Ferracci, and he was dumped here about three months ago by the people who stole his ship. There's a lot of ships For obvious reasons, around. he kind of wants to get off footfall. Hmm. So, that would make me, Dictron, playing... R sorry. That would be me, Dictron, playing as... Religious Nicator, better known as Remy the Red. He is a uh, nearly seven foot tall man, a uh, frogman tech priest with brain juices that go nuts all the time. Which is my way of saying he's also a psyker. He's an unsanctioned, uh, awakened psyker, basically. I give you three <laughs> sessions for the voice. Yeah, the, the three <laughs> sessions for the voice, maybe four for the I character. Think, I yeah. think you are. I think you're doubting my ability to stick with stupid ideas. He has been practicing this for like a it's week straight. If you can't maintain it idea. now. Uh, you may have noticed that Remy the Red sounds like he is, like his throat is made entirely out of cancer. And you'd be correct. Actually, he reminds me of, um, I got, what was it, Mr. Dr. Claw. Claw. Yeah, Dr. Claw from fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> Spectre Gadget. You, you're not wrong. God. <laughs> So Remedius the Red uh, had was pretty cool because he was uh, turned into a mutant from the very moment that he was born. He's it, he's a little bit froggy now. Isn't that just a fancy he way of saying you managed to get so much correct corruption and character creation? You rolled a mutation before we even started. No, no, no. Uh, I rolled two mutations before I started, and that's because I chose that specifically, uh, like as character creation things. No, I just, rolled two malignancies when I started because I'm starting with twenty corruption. Don't worry, he's starting at 20 corruption, so just 10 more points and you get another one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, it's going to happen probably before the next session. Because if I wanted to, I could just corrupt the shit out of myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's someone to my left who looks vaguely like one Dash Rendar. <laughs> uh, due to popular demand, and, uh, he has the most charming of smug faces. Um... I am late in showing, and I'm playing Ari Starkos. Uh, Ari for short, because that can be a bit obnoxiously long, unlike a certain rogue trader who will always continue to say his full name. Um, as much as he can remember. As much as yeah. he can remember it, anyways. Uh, he is a ship-born fighter pilot. He's always been on ships. Ships are his life, and he is most comfortable behind the uh, pilot seat of a of a fighter. You know, the people who die like flies, usually. He now got flies have a longer life expectancy. Yeah, um, he got through a campaign such that the carrier he was based on was crippled, so he was kind of so he's kind of just sitting around and got picked up by this rogue trader who was looking for a pilot. 
Unfortunately, poor Ari did not realize that the rogue trader was looking for the pilot for something much larger than what actually was uh, he's normally used to. So, congratulations! He's going to be going. Why is this? Why is everything so awful all the time? He is, doesn't know what he's gotten himself. He'll find Next. out. Uh, I am playing. Uh, sorry. Hi, I'm a phosphate. I'm playing uh, a Tau Fire Warrior by the name of Shazwi Viola Mian Swam. Nerd. Uh, shut up. All Fire Warriors <laughs> are nerds. No, just this I'm basically functioning as an arms dealer slash trade liaison. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my role here. <clears throat> well, and also... Venceslaus thought it was hilarious and yeah. assigned you as his first officer. Oh yeah, that's yes. right. I'm, uh, yes. I am the first officer. <laughs> yes. Because uh, apparently this group believes in maximum heresy from the get-go. Oh yeah. Yep. It's making my job very interesting, put it that way. I don't know what I got myself into. I don't know what I got myself <laughs> into. I'm a mutant. I'm okay. the end of Seer Prime. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, I am Arbitrary T.A., and I am playing legitimate businessman, Large the Mad, who is definitely not a clone or direct descendant of Kanye West. What are you talking about? Uh, he got with the group. He's a free thinker who does not believe the Emperor is a god, but doesn't believe in chaos. And... Um, was sort of maybe kind of imprisoned for definitely not selling people things that they but to put it to put it simply look the man does not definitely does not sell you a bunch of fake shit ever what are you talking about and um just don't shop at Lars's half price relics what are you talking yeah. no 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 everyone should be coming to Lars's half price relics and buying them for price Right. Um, and if you don't know already, I'm great on I kind of run this a lot. It's, well, I try to. I'm sorry. You actually introduced yourself for once. I know, I always forget to do that. How, how does it feel to be a part of it? Ah, it's weird. I don't have a long character backstory, though, because I'm everybody else. That means you have the longest character backstory of all. Alright, sit down. I'm going to introduce every major anyway. character in the 40k universe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with Azrubel Vex, just because. Anyway, uh, I did... Oh, okay, a, a week after landing. Oh, yeah, so, um, I'll just, before we do that, I just sorted out video problems, all right? You won't see me using Photoshop all the time. Uh, and the, the translation of when you style stuff, blah, 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 is <laughs> more glory, dark goodman, god swords, king man. Which was very appropriate. Well. Very perfect for a road trader, even if he is a massive pirate of only 21 profit factor. There, there, there's, yeah, actually details, plans, there's actually plenty There's actually plenty governors with more money than you. Mm -hmm. But yes, mm -hmm. shall we cut to a week later and an interview? So, yeah, as I was saying, Tech Priest sits down, gets himself all sorted. Um, so, thank you for joining me. It's a great pleasure, thank you. So, this ship, um, the... Oh, I'm not even going to make a name up for it. It was involved in infidels of football docking bay this week. Mm, yeah, our ship, the one that the front fell off. Yeah. Well, so that's not very typical. I'd like to make that point. Uh, how's that untypical? Well, there are a lot of these ships going around the warp all the time, and very seldom does anything like this happen. I just don't want people thinking that raiders aren't safe. Was this raider safe? Well, I was more thinking about the other ones. The other ones that are safe? Yeah, the ones the front doesn't fall off. Well, this wasn't safe, then why did it have 15,000 crew members on board? Well, I'm not saying that it wasn't safe. It's just perhaps not quite as safe as some of the other ones. No, uh, why was that? Well, some of them are built so the front doesn't fall off at all. Wasn't this one built so the front one would fall off? Well, obviously not. How do you know? Well, because the front fell off. 
and for 10,000 crewmen spilled into the void to pressurize. It's a bit of a giveaway. I would just like to make the point that that is not normal. Well, what sort of standards are these raiders built to? Oh, very rigorous mechanicus engineering standards. Uh, what sort of things? Well, the front's not supposed to fall off for a start. And what uh, other things? Well, there are regulations governing the materials that can be made of. What materials? Well, cardboard's out. And? No cardboard derivatives. Like paper? No paper, no string, no sellotape. Rubber? No, rubber's out. Um, they've got to have a cockpit. There's a minimum recruit requirement. Well, what would be the minimum crew requirement in this uh, situation? About a... Uh, under 50, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, so the allegations that it were just uh, designed to carry as many guns as possible and to help with the consequences, that's just, uh, you know, ludicrous. Ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. These are very, very strong vessels. So what exactly happened in this case? Well, the front fell off in this case by all means, but that's very unusual. But my boss, uh, why did the front fell off? Well, the gravity riptide hit it. A riptide hit it? A riptide hit the ship. Is that unusual? Oh yeah, in the void. Chance in a billion. So, what do you do to protect the station in cases like this? Well, the ship has exploded off the dark, so it's out of the system now. Don't have to do much. It's into orbit around the station? No, 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 no. It exploded off the dark, and things don't stop moving in space, so it's far away by now. Yeah, but we've got gravity here, and you know, everything's got to be pulling the chunks in. No, 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 no. It's beyond the station. It's not in the station. It has been blown beyond the station. Well, what's out there? Nothing's out there. There's got to be something out there. There's nothing out there. All there is is, is space and stars and, and planets. And? And 15,000 corpses. And what else? And a Promethean fire. Anything else? And the part of the ship that the front fell off, but there's nothing else out there. Uh, well, maybe that's uh, Thank you for joining Joining us. Void. Yeah, yeah, we're out of time. The, the station's perfect. We're out of time. Can we? Can you book me a cab? Cab? Didn't you come in a rescue shuttle? Yes, I did, but... What happened? The front fell off. Right. And that's that. We just wanted to do it. <laughs> Two weeks of planning that. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was that was a complete Months. offhand thing, and we did it in like a couple like hours. Months yeah. of planning. Months. <laughs> My throat doesn't hurt at all. Everyone, get it wrecked. <laughs> I am the best. I have the best throat. It's made of throat cancer. Yep. Right. So, just to let everyone know, I've been looking at the profit factor. You are just above a minor ministerium sect or a hab collective. Hmm, you're, you're, nice. You have less money than a high guild, a merchant house, a, a disgraced subsect of noble house. <laughs> you, you, In other uh, words, we're poor as fuck, and there are people who can. We are us. dirt broke. Uh, a yes, powerful high dead. guild, and impoverished noble or a trade traders are more expensive. And you, know, you have to get nearly twice your profit factor to, re to rank against even the most basic planetary noble. I mean. We, we, we do have more money than most people make in five lifetimes, but we're still broke as hell. Yeah. Five is still not nearly enough. Like, I was we're thinking talking about, I like, 50, kind. but... I was being kind. Mm -hmm. Well, a hive gang gets five, so you're five times more rich than a hive gang. Four. Yay! Four. four. Yeah, four. It's a bit yeah, of a large uh, scale, five if, you're, five if you're rounding up. Yeah, yeah that's right. if we round up a lot. We round up a lot. So... That's how we work. Captain, why am I yeah. here? Ah, well, you see that ship over there? The one that That's fell my off. ship. No, okay. not the one the front <laughs> fell off. I liked that ship. The other ship, that cruiser. Mm. It could have just had a nice raider, but no, so, we had to stick with the cruiser. Why are we not on that ship? We're working well, on well, it. because he had it stolen from him. And we're not currently stolen. we're liberating the ship from yeah. the. Um, we need to go steal it back. Yes, we are stealing it back. 
And how are you planning on doing that when there's 69,000 crewmen on board? Well, only a handful nice. of them can fight, and they're all still loyal to me. You see, we, we just walk onto the bridge with guns and go, this yeah. is our ship now. That's yeah. how this works, right? Exactly. You see this piece of paper I have? It gives me the right to steal ships. Definitely. You, you actually have the warrants of trade on you? No. <laughs> Where is the warrants have... of trade? <laughs> it's at home. It's probably back at Sadal again. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, we we oh by the way, I'm from Sadal again. Our seneschal, Lars the Mad, is from Katashin. <laughs> Katashin. Both are appropriate. Don't worry. Don't, yeah. don't, don't do that. Made, made, made up are, made. You can pronounce that however you want. Both are, both are, in fact, correct pronunciations, depending on who you ask. Uh, <laughs> fucking Imperium. Yeah. Oh. So, your plan Mordecai. is to just walk on board. Yeah, pretty much. You think they're going to argue with us? They are. They're not going to argue very long. <sighs> All right. This is literally your job, isn't it? Oh, ah, so... Anything to get a better ship than what we had. And why we're... am I flying such big things anyways? Don't worry were... about it. Uh, uh... We're introducing you don't have to fly through the from... warp. I'm sure Midius. that you can do this just fine. Let's put it this way. You're the person most qualified right now, whether we, whether we like it or not. Mm-hmm. Remedius is from uh, a orbital station that orbits over Mizoa. It's, yeah. Isn't Mizoa cool. a shithole? Uh, so yeah, but all of them are. Well, uh, I, I, I would mean, hope that there's a little bit more planning than just going. Well, oh, we should at, finish uh, hiring the crew. Crew. It's out out of character. We only have one person here that hasn't been explicitly hired already. And that is the navigator, the void master have both been hired. Reming Remy is part of the crew, and Mia was part of the crew. We only have two people who is he we only have three people who aren't hired already, technic well possibly. Oh wait, is the Seneschal already hired? I'm already here. Yeah, I think everybody's yeah, okay, already, okay. Okay. already hired. We have all of the people right. that are already here. Everyone else is just whatever, so we can complete. So all the, all the all the people we're gonna hire have turned up. Present. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> excellent. What was I think? What was I think? Zeb might not be able to. Yeah, and yeah, we'll talk just... about that later. Yeah, man, yeah. that's some quick attrition. But <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> didn't make it to one session. I know. Eh. No. Discord, if Discord fixes his computer, we can probably let him in. Yeah. Uh, well, and then we have a very special master at arms. Oh, yes. Our very, very special master at arms. Very special. He's not here. Why is he not He's here? He's not here. Probably Sorry, just... not appearing in the session. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. So yes, if you want, you can try for your your one early game acquisition rolls now. Oh hell yes. uh, We're oh, going to need uh, God, uh, the not... seneschal to make some rolls first. I right. not actually looked at what I want to get. Crap! I'll do that right now. <laughs> do it. Oh God! All I see is the ship. Uh, so you, <laughs> that is quite big to make it readable. <laughs> Should be able to minimize it. Right click on it. Uh, oh, yeah. All I have to do is check what is the what is the be bonus on common. Oh, I just shut that page. Why the hell do I shut that page? Oh, that is common? the only thing I need to know. Common is... Plus 20. Plus, plus 20? 20? Yeah. Okay. Plus 20. Okay. Yeah. Scarce oh, average common. Yeah. For, fun fact, everyone. I still have all my bookmarks here from the last time we played this about four years ago. Excellent. <laughs> Oh god damn it! Um, plus twenty minus thirty is not well. I can do the acquisition rolls. Mm -hmm. This is just individual to... ones, so you can't just make everyone's roll. Ah, okay. Not without doing commerce for us, but yeah, there's commerce, commerce, commerce. And speaking of commerce, I should do commerce. Uh... Well, the starting acquisition is just a thing you get straight up. There's no roll. Are you, like, letting us do another acquisition? Oh, no, so, yeah. But someone said roll, so... 
But yeah, it's just oh. one thing that's I mean, common, everyone isn't does it? get an acquisition a session, so I guess we could... We yeah, could if you want, well, we, you might want to leave that until you have a plan to steal your own shit back. You don't know when yeah. you might need to buy something. Right, to mention the, the fact uh, that most of us probably don't know what we're getting. I, I do know what I want. I want to get an, an insane amount of low sticks. That's all I want. I need some kind of body armor that's not Xenomash, because I have nine wounds. So do I, and I'm doing fine with Xenomash. Yeah, fuck that, though. Granted, mine's also best quality, so it's actually about as good as flag. <laughs> See. Right. So. Yeah. Matters yeah, of scale. Yeah. Basically, how, how many are you looking at? A vast amount would be minus 30, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm trying to get for a vast amount. Like, I want so to have a lifetime supplier. No, you. you you're buying low sticks. You're not buying a single low stick. You're buying a lifetime supply for that number of people. Yeah. Yeah. So you basically buy low sticks for the entire crew. Except that that's even bigger than an army's worth, I think. Yeah. Well, army's 10,000 plus. So literally, vast uh. is as many. Vast is where it breaks. Fuck it. Didn't you guys like, do last it? time buy an entire ship supply of Amasek or something like yes. that? Yes, at eleven. Yes, did. La last time it was booze. <laughs> this time it's cigarettes. So acquisition. Well, I mean, <sighs> acquisition slow is for rare is what a plus zero. Uh, minus ten for no. Rare. Yeah, rare is minus ten. If it's only for one person, you get plus thirty. Thirty minus ten plus twenty. So that is. Fucking what? Forty six? I forgot what the profit factor is. Twenty one. Twenty one. Uh, how do you how do you put 40. down the a get versus thing? Because normally you'd only be able to roll the d one hundred. How do you get the versus the number? I'm pretty sure you just made a skill for it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that will work. <sighs> Maybe uh, I should lower my standards. Just half the crew. It's okay. You'll hit that 11 eventually. And I then cannot the crew will uh, forever. 20. Uh, yeah! Versus zero? What? No, I was just... I was just rolling it. That was versus 41 for, um, I was getting Enforcer Light Carapace for just myself. Oh, okay. Go for it. Very nice. First thing, armor. Is it too early to roll for light power armor? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, seeing as actually you'd be rolling against you can... 21, wouldn't you? Your, yours oh. is actually easier to find than my 69,000 uh, lifetime supplies of low sticks. Well, you're looking yeah. to buy entire warehouses full of low sticks. That's a way more hard. than that. We're talking about like a an eternal supply line from the uh, the planet that actually produces them. Yeah, that it's is a lot of tobacco mixed with weed. Yeah, I want yeah. I want all of them. So many spliffs. <laughs> Um, okay, I will go for the light power armor. I, I think I know why the front fell off the ship. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh if you, wow. If you spent a fate point to get the plus 10, that would have done it, man. Oh. I can't do that retroactively. No. Mm -hmm. Right. So. so, I'm not actually planning on getting anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll against a 1. Well, don't waste it. You might need to buy something later. No, you don't understand. I have pretty much everything I need forever. Oh, yeah, um, true. So... I forgot you're I... the communist. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I... I, I just I just recalled, um, just that we don't forget that the Mr. Handy is here. I have a gigantic 150 kilogram cogitator array that's currently being propelled by a fusion engine, much like a Mr. Handy from Fallout. So I just have right. a giant accounting machine on a rocket. 
I am looking to. I am oh, looking yeah, to you get. Didn't, you didn't roll for yeah, that, did I'm you? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and roll against a one. Uh, for a rail rifle. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. So close. <laughs> <laughs> I am okay. going to. If I'm you're going to roll, the plus ten. No, the I'm plus going ten to... wouldn't have done it because it would have still been below a zero. So, I am going to roll against. Uh, I'm going to roll to get a maglev impeller. It is very rare, and I'm only looking to get one. It's a plus ten. Yeah. So it's thirty-one. Custom dice percentage. 